بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناؤ لیٹ اس سٹارٹ نیو ٹاپک ان دس چیپٹر نائن ان وچ وی ہیو آلریڈی ایکسپلین ٹو یو اف یو گو ہیئر کمپوزٹ باڈیز اوکے جسٹ جسٹ اے بریف ریمائنڈر واٹ آر کمپوزٹ باڈیز اوکے سو کمپوزٹ باڈیز آر بیسکلی کڈ بی اے ٹو ڈائمینشنل ایز وی ہیو ایریاز آر کڈ بی تھری ڈی والیوم آبجیکٹس اوکے and uh, basically uh, they are being termed composites because they are being made up of different uh, uh, geometrical precise geometrical components like uh, here uh, you can have a, uh, an i section beam with three different rectangles uh, you could uh, very easily see and uh, if you look at it uh, this thing uh, an i section beam here you can see uh, uh, basically a water tank in which you have got a cylinder and you've got a cone and if you've got a, a hemisphere being uh, joined together to form this composite body and again for composite bodies since they are geometrical shapes uh, we will not use integral sign instead we'll be using the uh, sign here which is the summation summation of this and you can calculate the basically uh, the volume the for the centroidal calculations you can calculate the x bar y bar z bar and you can also calculate the center of mass of the objects you can calculate the center of gravity of the objects uh, with, with this technique but you will be using a summation sign here like here the center if, if you're taking considering of the weight of the composite body the, the centroid of the uh, basically of this uh, 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 weight which is basically a result in the centroid will be basically x bar is equals to summation of x delta w over summation of w okay so let's proceed uh, uh, with uh, this geometrical 3d composite uh, uh, body we have given it they are saying to you locate the center locate the center of mass of the assembly the hemisphere uh, the and it is made up of this uh, assembly is made up of uh, the hemisphere this is the hemisphere and uh, the cone and the cone are made up of materials having the density 8 megagrams per cubic meter this is basically for the hemisphere this this hemisphere lower one and uh, the cone respectively is basically this is the cone which is 4 megagrams per cubic meter another thing about this question is that uh, this is a heterogeneous composite uh, the cone has a density 4 megagrams per cubic meter and uh, the Uh, hemisphere has density 8 megagrams per cubic meter which means uh, we have to calculate uh, uh, it will have a different uh, center of mass and it will have a different uh, centroid of the uh, object it will have a different for example if you go it will have a it will have as precise centroidal coordinates for the mass and it will also have a you will also calculate the centroidal coordinates of this object uh, which is going to be x bar y bar and the z bar okay and you will also calculate the centroidal coordinates for the center of mass x m y m and z m okay so we'll be calculating them okay just uh, so uh, to make it more clear so we shall proceed here okay so if you go here and uh, um, we see uh, for, uh, basically in order to calculate uh, uh, they have given us a 3d object which and again if you look at it, this object this object is symmetric about this which axis it is about the z axis okay it is very much symmetric if you cut it uh, from the z axis equally mass will be uh, di- uh, divided into the two different uh, uh, sides of the cut okay so uh, there is symmetric about z axis it is axis of symmetry uh, meaning that uh, the centroid the center of mass and uh, center of gravity they will all lie on the z axis very important point because uh, it is symmetric the center of mass the center of gravity and uh, the centroid will all lie at the same point but one thing since it is heterogeneous always remember 
the center of mass and center of gravity you can calculate it very easily but the centroid centroid is basically the geometrical center of this composite okay and it isn't is dependent upon the uh, the basically the uh, the density okay it is the geometrical center so it will basically vary the centroid will vary from the center of mass of the object this i i have already told you in my previous uh, uh, lectures and uh, in in the class also so we will proceed first uh, again uh, in order to calculate uh, basically the formula that we will be using to calculate the uh, uh, center of mass of this object okay as they have saying you need to calculate the center of mass the center of mass the main main formula will be uh, z, the z bar of this assembly of center of mass will be equals to summation z tilde into the mass divided by summation uh, of the mass of the composite body okay and you know that uh, the formula for the mass will be density into density is mass per unit volume so mass is density into volume these are the simple formulas so uh, just uh, some uh, helpful uh, formulas that can help us uh, in calculation of this uh, co uh, composite problem is that uh, that the density of the hemisphere is given to us in the question it is 8 megagrams per cubic meter the density of the cone is 4 megagrams per cubic meter okay this is being given to us uh, here and and the volume of the cone this the, this cone volume cone volume will be given as 1 by 3 pi r square h remember so when you calculate pi r square the radius will be 100 1 by 3 pi r as r square h. now a very important formula is there you must memorize it that the centroid of this cone the centroid of this cone Uh, will have the coordinate uh, z tilde equals to h upon 4 and here h will be this 300 300 divided by 4 okay and uh, for this volume of the sphere this volume of the sphere hemisphere this one uh, the volume of this object will be 2 by 3 okay so the volume will be uh, you can write it as the volume of this hemisphere if you forgot it the volume of this hemisphere is equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube 2 by 3 pi r cube and uh, remember the radius will be for this hemisphere will also be equals to 100 mm and the uh, centroidal coordinates of this hemisphere okay for this hemisphere from this point it will be 3 by 8 times the radius 3 by 8 times i am explaining this because the radius will be 100 here they have explained it 100 3 upon 8 times the uh, radius okay so these are some very important coordinates which we need to we why are we basically very, very much worried about the centroid and the this is basically because we need to calculate uh, this thing and uh, the z tilde the z tilde we need this uh, centroidal coordinates okay so uh, the formula is z tilde into mass divided by uh, summation of z tilde into mass over summation of mass okay so in order to calculate the mass you need basically uh, to calculate this table and mass equals to density into volume uh, but uh, what is the density of the of the cone of the cone is 4 mega grams per cubic meter so 4 mega grams per cubic meter means that the density will be uh, given to us is as uh, sorry uh, it is given to us as 4 into 10 to the power 6 but it is uh, mega grams per cubic meter but we want it in kg per uh, millimeter cube because all dimensions are there so we can just do one thing here is that it will be from grams to make it to kg into 1 over uh, and there is uh, they have given is as kg per cubic meter so transform it into uh, millimeter cube we can write it like this 
k into ten to the power three. So the answer that will come after doing the calculation will be equals to uh, they will write it as four into ten to the power minus six. So if you are worried about how he is getting here this thing, so you can just make it it is a four into four into ten to the power minus six and uh, volume. What is the volume? Volume of the of the cone volume of the uh, cone will be uh, 1 by 3 1 by 3 pi r square is 100 whole square and height height of the cone is 300 so you will get the volume uh, in terms of uh, millimeter as 3141592.6 by 4 uh, and basically this will be the volume and this will be the density 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 so you multiply them and uh, what will be uh, and for, uh, same with the hemisphere it will be given as 8 into 10 to the power uh, 8 10 over 6 grams per cubic meter it transforms to 8 to 10 to the minus 6 and the volume of the hemisphere is given to us as 2 by 3 pi r cube 2 by 3 pi and r is again 100 the whole cube in terms of millimeter so you will be getting this value 2094395.102 now you you got the mass but very important thing now comes is how for the uh, cone for the cone here what will be the uh, basically the centroidal uh, the z tilde for this form okay remember like in the previous problem we calculate x tilde y tilde here we calculate z tilde uh, why because uh, we already know that the uh, the centroidal coordinates of center of mass along uh, x tilde y tilde will all be zero uh, because it, uh, the cone is symmetric about the z axis so it comes out to be and, and remember very important point here that uh, the we need to take uh, z tilde from this point from the origin here is x axis y axis z axis you take it from here from this point so when we take from this point we will already uh, move uh, in the hemisphere a distance of uh, how much we a distance of 100 because the radius is 100 so we'll move a distance of 100 100 plus 75 75 comes from the centroid h by 4 what is h h is 300 divided by 4 so it comes out to be 75 so from this point if we move a distance of 175 it will be the z tilde of the cone now we go to the another point here which is uh, for the hemisphere but the hemisphere again is basically being again uh, calculating from this point which is if we calculate from this point okay so uh, we, uh, what is the centroidal coordinate uh, centroid of the hemisphere uh, z tilde for the hemisphere is 3 by 8 times the radius but radius is 100 so it will be basically coming it out uh, as a value of uh, basically 37.5 when you calculated it okay 37.5 but since we need to calculate distance from here to here is basically 100 okay 100 minus this 37.5 is here okay so 37.5 basically started from like uh, this uh, along this axis say it is this point okay but this total distance is 100 from here to here this is going to be 100 so one we, we want our uh, value of uh, z tilde from the origin from this point so 100 minus 37.5 will give you from the origin the distance of 62.5 okay just uh, this is how you get your uh, z tilde okay now simple formula that we want your z tilde the product of z tilde into m you have already calculated z tilde in millimeters and you have already calculated mass just multiply them you will get this value for the uh, cone and for the hemisphere you get this value now what you do you basically add them where you will add these values here you both these values and you will uh, basically add all these values here once you add them where uh, this will be uh, what is called as the mass the total mass because you are summing and this will be your z tilde this will be your z tilde of the entire composite so once you do this uh, you will get z tilde into m uh, this z tilde into m is this is the 
z tilde into m this value divided by the total mass which is 29.321 you put it over here okay so you put it over here and you divide them and you will get your center of mass as 110.72 okay again this center of mass and center of gravity is the same okay so you will get this value okay now you'll be asking what will be the center of mass of this value x bar mass for this will be for and for uh, y m you will be saying it's zero because uh, it is symmetric about the z axis so it, you will, it will be zero so there will be no value over the, uh, for the center of uh, mass about the x coordinate and for the y uh, y bar for the center of mass but again since uh, it's a composite of body but the center of mass, uh, remember this point, the center of mass, because it is composite, heterogeneous, two different densities will not be equal to, it will not be equal to center of uh, the centroid. It will not be equal to the centroid. Okay. So, this is a very important point, which uh, you must remember that uh, center of mass is not equal is not going to be equal to the centroidal coordinates of the three dimensional composite which is hemi combination of hemisphere and the cone okay so with this knowledge we can proceed to further if you look at it yeah so now we be are interested in the centroid and uh, whenever the centroid is there, you will be uh, engaged with the volume, okay. And then uh, these previous calculations you have already performed. So, it is very easy for you. It is going to be very easy for you that uh, you know the, uh, for, for the, this one, for first one was for the, uh, if I am not wrong, it will be for the cone. This, the, this is for the cone. This is for the cone. And uh, if you look at it, uh, this is for the for the hemisphere this is for the hemisphere you have already calculated these values so this is 175 and this is 62.5 okay and you have already cal calculated the volume for the uh, cone volume for the hemisphere and now the only thing is that now you multiply this uh, z tilde this z tilde with the volume z tilde with the volume you will get uh, this value and you multiply the z tilde with this volume you will get this thing okay now for the centroidal coordinates of this uh, composite it will be summation of z tilde into v uh, which means uh, you're going to add this value and this value you will add and you will get this value z tilde into v and uh, the summation of all the volumes is this one okay you will add this and this together and you will get uh, basically this value here you will add and you will get this value here okay so when you divide the uh, summation z tilde into v divided by the volume uh, basically you will get uh, the centroidal coordinates thus of uh, this composite uh, cone and hemisphere is equal to 130 mm but the center of mass if you am not wrong uh, which we have done it before what is comes out to be the center of mass this is uh, the centroidal coordinates comes out to be 130 mm and what about the center of mass it is 110.72 so you can see they are different uh, and the reason being is that the centroid will not coincide with the center of mass because the material is heterogeneous density is not constant so this is how you calculate uh, the basically the center of uh, mass and the centroidal coordinates of composite three dimensional shapes i hope your uh, uh, concept will be more clear in this problem and now we proceed to, uh, after completing this uh, problem we will go to another problem for uh, areas with uh, non mathematical functions okay